Hi, hello, can you hear me? Yes. This is um, Tommy Bryson, man. Just want you to know this call is going to be recorded and potentially uploaded. Is this um, Pro Prolin? Proslin? Proslin. 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 Okay. Nice to meet you, man. You're okay with the call being recorded? Yes, sir. All right. How can I help? Um. Well, uh, honestly, I just recently was uh, watching a few of your content, and um, I love everything I say, and I just wanted to say thank you for that. And, um, thank you. So I just been um I just started uh trying to get into stocks and uh the first video I saw from you it was very informative and I just wanted to like you know I I'm looking for somebody like a kind of mentorship or kind of guidance on you know how to get more more financially stable so I I liked it a lot of your content so that's why I kind of reached out and see uh okay see so what, what's your, what's you your current financial situation uh, what well, right now I work at uh Pepsi, so I'm I'm try I, I just started a uh, I did my LLC for a dispatching um company, so I'm okay. I'm trying to get that up and running, and then I'm just really trying to like find ways to in invest my money. So okay, so you work at the company Pepsi, the soft drink company, right? Yes. Okay, and are you a truck driver? Truck driver? No, no, a warehouse warehouse work loader. Okay, warehouse. And how much money do you make? Like a month, uh, not. By 20, 2200 $2,200. And what you want to do is uh, increase your income. Is it you like your job and you, you like where you are and you just want to, like, have the extra money, like, be used to make yourself more money? Or you want to use your money to, like, um put yourself, like, in a better place, like, paying off your debt or whatever? Like, what exactly do you want to do? I really want to go away from the 9 to 5, you know, just, just okay. kind of my my own business uh uh become more of a more uh investor i, I want to deal with real estate as well too so I, okay. i'm just trying to like put a plan together to kind of like go away from the nine to five uh use my money to invest and kind of get me uh where i have like passive income coming in okay. each month all right so person what i what i do here is i teach long term right so okay. the first thing is i never recommend somebody for example go ahead and quit their job because okay. you know your your job is gonna be like your first investor because that's basically where the seed money is gonna come in or seed capital whatever you want to call it. Of course. Um, so if you work on a job and that job takes care of your bills, you live. Well, how old are you, by the way? I'm forty. You're forty years old, making twenty two hundred dollars, yeah. and you live alone or you live um at home? No, I live alone. Okay. So if I were forty years old and I was making twenty two hundred dollars, and where do you live? Like what state? Miami, Florida. Miami, Florida. Okay. I would ask myself a few things, okay? The best return on investment, in my opinion, is going to come from you investing this money into yourself. Because, okay. for example, if I told you the way I invest, which is the long term, you're going to make 8 to 12%. And then on top of that, you're not allowed to take that money for the next 10 to 20 years because that's the money we're using because that's money is going to be for retirement in order for you to actually have money and passive income for the future you. Make sense? That takes yes, a very long time. But if you were to say, well, you know what? I'm making $2,200. I have extra cash or I'm able to put in some extra hours somewhere else to make some extra cash. And I say, I'm going to use this money to get either a trade job skill, a career skill from college or a license, whatever it is. I can invest, let's say, like $10,000, $20,000 a year in this degree or this career with my own cash or whatever it is. And then I can turn that into, instead of making $2,200, which is like what, like um, like $30,000 a year or something like that, you can turn that into yes. a fifty to $60,000 like um, a year salary. And that's a lot better. And that gives you a lot more options. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. So you, um, I'm, you're single? You have no kids? Yes, single. No kids. Okay. Yeah, so let me ask you a question, right? Because the big thing is the long-term way of investing which is basically um, you're going to open up a Roth IRA. You're going to pick some good ETFs, some good index funds. You're going to put like um, 10, 20% of income in there and it's going to like grow over the long term. That's fine. But that's like money for like 10, 20 years down the line. But until then, you're going to be living the same way today. So okay. what would, what if I, if I told you, okay, you can go and get whatever career you want, but it has to have three categories, okay? You have to be good at it. You have to like it. And it has to make you a good amount of money. What career would you go into? Real estate, real estate, uh, 
Real estate requires capital. I'm talking about uh, agent. Real estate agent. Okay. Yeah. So how much does that cost? Uh, the course is is only ninety nine. How much? Down here, four ninety nine, four hundred and ninety nine. Down here. By who? Uh, Gold State? Coast. Okay, so what you want to do is find out how much it is to actually take like the whole like test or whatever and submit everything, and then you go okay. ahead and start comparing different rates, whether it's online or whatever it is, to figure out exactly how much it's going to cost you. But again, remember, right? You have commission jobs and you have wage jobs, right? A commission job is where you get paid based on your efforts, based on your skills, and what you're actually able to do. You work a nine to five right now, so that's, I'm guessing from nine to five, right? Yes. Okay. So real estate would be something you do after work, which is fine because most people are going to look at properties usually after they're done with work, and most people have a nine to five job, so that's usually going to be the hours when you're going to be working. But you have to understand that basically, if you do choose to go into real estate, that's going to be something you do on the side after work, put in extra hours, and then get in better, and then potentially making some sales. It's not guaranteed. Does that make sense? Yeah. So that's one avenue. That's a commission job, right? If you do real estate agent, you sell some property, get very good at sales, maybe do some leases or whatever. But then there's another option where you say, well, I can do the whole agent thing, but I can also take, for example, uh, uh, go to trade school or get this little degree or whatever it is, or just ask at Pepsi, right? Like, hey, what are the other layers to this company? Like, what gets me to corporate? And like, how much money do they make up there? Because remember, right, it's the same amount of time. It's just you're gonna have a different skill to make you a lot more money. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. So if you were able to like ask Pepsi and be like, hey, what are the other layers to this? Because I really wanna climb the ladder, I wanna get an education, and I wanna kinda like help the company out a lot more because that's you adding value to the company and they'll appreciate that. And you find out, hey, in order for you to come up here to corporate, we need you to have this degree or whatever it is and whatever thing is. And if you're able to get that in two years, because again, you're 40 years old, like a bachelor's is in four years or three years, we do like um, express mode or whatever it is, if you're interested in it and it actually makes financial sense for you. And they're actually might be able to pay for you potentially, potentially. Then now you're like 43 years old and you're able to make, for example, 50,000 to 60K. And if you're still doing real estate on the side, which is very plausible, you can make an extra like 20 to $40,000 a year on that too. So now you've maximized your income a lot more. And now if you're investing towards retirement with the long-term plan with the team here, it's like for the long-term, like that money's there, it's investing, you leave it alone, boom, boom, boom. But then with your extra money, you're able to handle what matters. And what matters is the plan that I created is kind of like, it's called the um, financial freedom plan. And it's simple. Mm -hmm. First thing is you get a budget. Then you start paying off your debts using the avalanche method. Do you have any debt? Yes. Okay, what do you owe? I think is everything is like 12,000. 12, uh, okay. Credit card. Okay. Credit card, student loan. So you've been to college before. And what happened? Uh, it was a, uh, I went to UTI for uh, automotive. Okay. Oh, what happened? Uh, I, gra I graduated. Everything was cool. But uh, when I was younger, like, I kind of like uh, did, you know, my license. I, I messed up my license a lot. So a lot of the companies, they didn't want to take me on because uh, they felt like I was a uh, high risk. The insurance didn't. A liability. Company took me on. Yeah. The company would, would hire me, but the insurance wouldn't. They like, didn't want to cover me. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, is that still the same case today? No, no, that's not the same case today. But would you be interested in going back into that field since you already have yeah, like, the skill? Yeah, definitely. And what would you ha what would you have to do to get back into it? Uh, probably just uh, find uh, look for the position and um, apply. Okay, and how much would that pay? That that pays anywhere from twenty seven to thirty two dollars an hour. How much is that per uh, year? We're talking about like 50 to 60, right? That's 60, yeah, 60, 60,000. You just found a way to go from 30 to 60. Yeah. So my big thing is, right, if it does take a little bit more like legwork than, than we're pretending that it might take, and it, may, it might take maybe like, let's say six months of recertification or whatever it is, then if I'm interested in that, I'm good at it, it's going to make me money, I would go into that. And now, okay. six months on the road, I'm making 50 to 60k working the same hours no longer at, at um at the previous company you were at which is fine right but now you're over yeah. here you're able to grab that money first of all you pay off your debts you stop using your debts right now cut up your credit cards don't use them stop borrowing money
because all that money you're paying per month and the APR on it, basically the interest you're paying per year, is going to be very hard to get wealthy because if I'm telling you to invest this way and it makes you eight to 12%, but you're paying a credit card company, for example, 15 to 25% to 35%, the math just says, hey, this is not going to work. Make sense? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so that's the first thing, you get out of debt. So first thing, I, if I were you again, 40 years old, making $2,200, um, but I have a skill that I can potentially use is, I would find out exactly what it takes for me to go back into that field because I have a clean history now, my lesson's not the same, and see what that process would be like and see if I can actually get a job, whether it's starting out at the bottom but making a little bit more money but having the prospect to make a lot more money. That's what I'm interested in. So that's my first step here. Second step okay. is, I'm gonna pay off my debt. So all of the extra money that I have is not gonna go towards saving up for some real estate, is not gonna go towards investing Tommy way or whatever it is. It's gonna go towards paying off my debt because that is costing me a lot of money and it is eroding my wealth. Make sense? Yes. You have any you have any cash? Uh I have probably about five thousand on hand. Okay. So if I were you, I would grab one thousand two thousand. I would grab 2000 I would put it in a separate account in case like you need to get recertified and it costs some money or whatever. That's what I'm saying, extra $1,000. But usually 1000 is fine. Take 2000 put it on the side, and then take the other 3000 and put it towards the highest interest debt. Because the way we pay debt here is using the avalanche method, meaning you pay the debt with the highest APR. How do you find out? You call the credit card company. Hey, how much do you charge me a year? on interest. They'll tell you 15, 20, 25%. You pay the one with the highest APR and all of your extra money, because if you have $5,000, you're probably very frugal. You're probably very good at setting money aside, which is awesome. But now you're going to grab all that extra money per month when you get paid and you throw it towards the debt, throw it towards the debt. And the next three to six months, potentially a little longer, you're going to be done with this debt. Make sense? Yes. What you do next is called building the foundation. A foundation is like, you know, when you build a house, you want to study foundation because if something happens, you want to be secured. Yes. Same thing with your life, right? So what's the foundation of your life? That's going to be an emergency fund in case you get fired, you break a leg, who knows what might happen, right? You get into an accident. So you save three to six months worth of emergencies. So that means if you spend per month 1800 multiply it by three, that's three months. If you want to do it six months, multiply it by six, and that would be six months. So you're done with the debt. Now all your extra money goes towards saving up for emergencies. Notice I haven't told you anything about investing yet, because again, it doesn't make sense to invest money into a Roth IRA. All of a sudden, you, you find yourself in trouble. I need to pull that money out. You're just going to like be teetering from um, doing this, but then I have to go back to this because of my lifestyle. Make sense? Yes. Okay, that's the second step. Third step is you start investing. Now, I know a lot of the times people want to invest a lot of money, but I would rather start small than start massive and then have to stop midway. So the rule I follow is just invest 10 to 20% of your income into a solid portfolio. If you are on my channel and you watch the channel, you can click the latest video or any video and in the link, you'll see an M1 finance link in the description. When you click that link, you see exactly what I invest into everything I invest into. If you want to copy it, you're able to copy it. You can open up a Roth IRA with that account investing for retirement because I invest very conservatively. If you want to understand where that mindset come from, I have videos on it, but there's also a book called The Little Book About Common Sense Investing by John C. Bogle. Okay. All right. Yeah. So when you're investing at 10, 20 percent, with the extra money that you have left over, which you should have left money left over, you start saving up for a down payment on a home. If you're living in Miami, Florida, that might mean, for example, whether it's like a, a little single family home, whether it's a condo, whether it's moving to Fort Myers, whether it's doing whatever you got to do to be able to afford a home. Um, the math I use and the formula I use is called the 33% rule, 33% rule on a 15 year mortgage. So it means the home you buy cannot exceed 33% of your monthly income, okay? And it has to be on a 15-year mortgage. That limits you to a very like um, cheaper house that you're able to pay off a lot faster. Make sense? Yes. So while you're paying off the house a lot faster, throwing all the extra money towards the mortgage, and you're still investing, 10 years later, you have no mortgage, 
but you also have a healthy amount of money in your investment account. And all while you're doing this, guess what you have also? You have a career that's paying you fifty to sixty thousand dollars. Does that sound a lot better? Yeah, definitely. That's what I would do, brother. I know it's okay. um it's very it's very um it's very tempting to say, Well, I just wanna invest and, and do the stock stuff and then do the real estate stuff and just do this and do that. But if you already have a skill that can make you fifty thousand dollars, six thousand dollars, just do that. And if you still wanna do the no. real estate thing on the side, then do it on the side too and see how it works out. No, bro. I'm I'm soaking everything you you're you're saying and, and that's why I reached out to you because every everything all the contents you put out, like you're you're on point and in this is no like gray area so so everything you're saying everything is making sense so it doesn't make sense to to go the other route so yeah, yeah. i'm soaking everything in and i appreciate it and, and by the way brother one thing i would say right when i when i say these things on the internet everything sounds like 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 um like butter smooth but it's real life you're gonna face yeah. walls and and knows and yeah. consequences or whatever it is is a part of the game so be prepared when you face hardship have a growth mentality to say well what is my next step what do i have to do to still get what I, what, I, what it is i want a fixed mindset is someone that says well i experienced this wall so time to find something else to do no work at the same thing and figure out how to make it work for yourself does that make sense oh yeah 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 i, I saw i saw your video on the, the video you made on that too so i, yeah. I really liked that so that, that's all yeah, it is, brother. And there's and there's nothing wrong with a nine to five. You know, no matter how you paint it, what I do here on YouTube is a nine to five. I wake up at four a.m. and I'm here until like three p.m. It's the same thing. It's just that I work for myself in a sense. You know what I mean? If you like yeah. cars or dealing with all that stuff and you enjoy it, you get paid a lot of money and you're able to buy your freedom also at a very good pace. What's the difference? You've been living off of two thousand dollars. Now you increase your income to four thousand dollars. You're gonna do amazing things. Just keep your life to the exact same. Use the surplus to get yourself financial freedom a lot faster, and you'll be there in no time. So you're forty now. Let's say if you're not able to do the car thing and you have to go back to school, but pay for it in cash, right? So if you have to go back to school and it takes you two years or four years, well now you're forty-four, and now you're making fifty-six thousand dollars. Okay, and now you're taking ten. 10 to 12 years to actually do this whole plan, I'm telling you. Well, now how old are you? You're like, what, 52, 54 years old, and you're basically fully financially free? That's better than yeah. waiting until you're 65 or being 65 and broke because that's like a whole different thing too. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 definitely. definitely. That, that, that's sense. what I'm saying, brother. Yeah, definitely. You have any questions? Mm, no, no. Honestly, um, uh, this, this this is something I needed, so it's it's... I was I was at a, like a fork in the road, like not not mm -hmm. knowing which way to go, and and kind of taking on too much as well. So yeah. so I'm glad how you saying like oh you, you know the I like the phrase when you say just the foundation work on the foundation first. Yeah. So yeah. everything else will follow, and it makes sense. Not not run to invest now, and uh, something happens, then I have to want to be eager Back to pull track. the money out all. so yeah. yeah it makes all all sense all, that, it makes sense that's all it is brother and and one thing i will say um thank you for the call um and this is not like a one-time thing so if while you're going through this process you encounter some like roadblock and you want to reach out be like yo tommy what about this what about that you're you're welcome to just schedule another call and i'll give you a call okay thank you again bro. okay thank you so much all right man and welcome to the long-term team god bless you yes sir you too bye-bye that's all all right guys so that right there was um proslin i think um that's his name i i'm pretty hard like with um pronunciation of names but i think it's is, is um let me just say it again i think it's um proslin yeah um yeah guys one of the riskiest things or is like the mentality people have about nine to five jobs i have nothing against it i do have a problem with a job that doesn't pay you enough money and you're not doing anything about it and the only out you see is for example i need to start my own business which by the way is very risky and it takes a long time too so if i have a skill that i'm able to make 40 50 60,000 dollars why wouldn't i want to go ahead and execute it especially if i like it if i care about it it's just a no-brainer that's the point guys so yeah that would be my advice you know find out if you're able to get that job get started if it takes six months to a year still do it because in a year you go from twenty thirty thousand dollars a year 
to $60,000 a year. That's double your money. I, I can't give you an investment that does that for you. You know what I mean? So that's that's what I would do, guys, okay? I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And stop rushing to, like, um, get into investing without a foundation. And when things get go bad, you're like, oh, my gosh, I need the money. I need to take it out. And then there's penalties involved. There's taxes involved. That's not what you want to do, though. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Hit the bell so you're notified. If you want to join me on my next call, Feel free to do so. The link is down below. By the way, the calls, again, are free. Follow me on Instagram, Ty Bryson. Here are more content. And up here is my face. Click it, subscribe. Peace out. Long-Term Team is out.